You know, I often tell people that as the commander of U.S. Central Command, I'm responsible for an area that consists of 20 countries. 20 countries with 20 different stories. And some of these stories are good, and some are bad, but all of them are important for a variety of reasons. It is an area that is often characterized by fragile political transitions and civil wars and sectarianism and ungoverned spaces. And when things go badly there, it has a clear and sizable impact, not only on the region, but across the globe as well. That said, it's not all doom and gloom in the Middle East. It's also an area that's rich in history and tradition and culture. It is a fascinating place with much to offer. And it is one of the most strategically important regions, holding over half of the world's proven oil reserves and plentiful natural gas reserves, which, as you know, are crucial, crucial to the global energy market. Opportunities for Afghan women have improved in recent years. Women now represent one-fourth of the government labor force and 28 percent of the national parliament. Education and literacy levels have also increased. In 2001, some 700,000 Afghans were enrolled in primary and secondary schools. Today, more than 7.9 million students are enrolled in school. And more than one-third of them are females. And I continue to say that the most powerful weapon that we ever deployed in Afghanistan was literacy, because it has created some conditions that are irreversible. Also, unemployment or underemployment has decreased from 50 percent to 35 percent. And so, by almost all metrics, we're seeing progress made in Afghanistan. And according to the polls, most Afghans believe that their lives are improving. Well, that said, there's still much work to be done. And the Afghans will need to continue to build upon the progress achieved thus far. And they recognize this. And they're demonstrating the intent and a desire to do so. And I do believe that they can be successful going forward. However, they're going to require a bit more time and a bit more help. 